What is going on there, fellas? AK40 Kevin here in the gamer heaven. It's getting harder and harder to get copyright free music for your YouTube videos, your Twitch stream, or any kind of multimedia you're doing. Shoot, even having a song playing in the back of your podcast is going to get you bounced off the platform. Seriously, though, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act or DMCA is more aggressive than coked out rugby players. Without further ado, guys, we're going to hop over here to the PC. I'm going to show you a few different platforms that you can use to get music on your YouTube videos or Twitch streams without getting sued into the ground. Let's get it. Alrighty guys, over here at the PC, gonna go ahead and share my screen. I made a little text note here so I don't forget anything. I'm gonna copy and paste this into the description of the video so you can click on the hyperlinks and I'll take you right where you need to be. So first option to get yourself some copyright free music or tracks for your videos or streams would be right here in the YouTube library. So I will say about 95% of these are absolute hot sticky garbage on the side of the highway. These are literally like the beats I used to make on my cell phone when I was in middle school and I discovered music production. I would throw together instruments with no sense of timestamp synchronization or instrument mesh or anything like that. I would just throw them all together. I would sort by either mood or genre and just go straight up for dance or electronic uh, or ambient sometimes is good but uh there's a lot it's really hit and miss but this is probably your safest bet it's probably the least quality tracks and music that i'm going to show you guys here but it's also the best bet i.e the safest because not all these copyright free sites are created equal so some some of them you need to copy in the description of the artist the producing company and label paste that into your videos in order not to get a strike or it won't even be a strike you know a strike is a strong word it's not a strike like I've never received a strike on my channel in the two and a half years I've been doing this, but I have received, um, you know, videos being demonetized because there was a 30 second clip of a song or a movie or something like that. Um, in which case all the monetization for that video goes, goes to the production house for that 30 second clip that really added no value to the video. And I should have just left it out anyway, which is ridiculous. Like you're the one creating the original content being entertaining and entertaining and informative and adding value. And you might have a 30 second clip of something in the background you don't even think about and that takes the entire monetization for your video. It's absolutely ridiculous. So anyway, you can get some real safe tracks here. Not safe on the ear canals, but safe for you not getting sued or DMCA'd. They also have sound effects here. I don't fully understand this because how are they to know that these are sound effects and not just real sounds? Like if I'm doing a home improvement project, like when I was building this game room in here, by the way, that's a playlist on my YouTube channel, and I'm over here drilling into the drywall and stuff like that, um, there's a sound effect in here for electric drill. Like if I were to get copyright strikes or monetization infringements for just regular sound effects in my video, I would be absolutely livid. So that's weird that there's actually sound effects here. I'm pretty sure you could just Google any sound effect, throw that in your video. And as long as it's not like a very specific sound effect, you should be good. All right, the next one is to go onto a website like SoundCloud. And a lot of times you can ask the artist if you can use their track inside of your video. And a lot of times these are just small artists. They'll be like, yeah, sure. Or you can buy the track from them. Literally not like buying a, a song out of iTunes or anything like that, but you can pay them for the copyrights to that track so you can use them in your videos. So that's just something to consider. Now, if you do use their tracks, they do allow you to use it for free. Just like I mentioned, um, you want to copy the artist, their album, their producing house, whatever, and paste that into the description of your video just to go ahead and shuck and jive any claims from Google. All right, so these ones right here, these are different YouTube channels. All of them have well over a million subscribers for a reason. These are all high quality tracks. They're not like what you're gonna find in the YouTube library. These actually sound really, really good. I'm not gonna play them right now because I don't have my headphones on. So you'll hear the sound twice, you know, through OBS and through my microphone as well. And that's not fun for anybody. But these sound really, really good. They have a lot of different themes from ambient chill out music, lo-fi to some more um, aggressive dank bangers as well. So good stuff here. Those are all um, really, really solid. Now, there is also a YouTube playlist for Stream Beats by Harris Heller. If you guys don't know who that is, he has a really good YouTube channel around getting set up, making YouTube and Twitch content, um, you know, lighting, photography, microphone setup, stuff like that. These are all tracks that he made in-house because he does have a, a very vast background in music production. Uh, he plays several instruments. He produces instrumental stuff like that. So these are all from him. Him and his best bud actually recently started a uh, actual label, an actual 
physical studio with the digital label to go behind it. So this is their website here. Um, you know, Stream Beats is just Harris Heller's project, but it's actually called uh, Sigma Pi or Simper Pi or something like that. Uh, I, I can't think of the name right now, but if you just type in Sigma Pi, you're going to get either some really disgusting stuff or you're going to get their website. Yeah, they've got some great tracks. Their, their little music studio is producing some stuff in-house, which is pretty, pretty sweet. Now we're going to get down in here to some websites here. And again, I mentioned that not all these are as safe as others. You know, some of these things, trademarks could change, copyrights could change hands, and then these songs that you've had in your videos, your VODs from a year and a half, two years ago, all of a sudden pop for monetization. You're like, what the hell? Um, as if you go with something inside of the YouTube library, even though they're stinky stinkers, um, they're going to be good because they're from Google. They were in their dedicated library. As were these like third-party websites that aren't associated with Google. Um, I mean, you can find them on Google, but they have no association with Google and the YouTube platform. Yeah, they might become a little bit illicit over time, but they do have some really good tracks. And I do like this one here, uh, Epidemic Sounds, because you can just instantly play these right here. You don't need to really sign up. You could just have this playing in the background um, and instantly get up and running, which sucks because a lot of these websites that I'm going to show you guys, you have to sign up and some of them want you to pay like $5 a month. That's no, sir. Um, but just the fact you have to sign up and have another account floating around, getting notification emails and stuff all the time is kind of ridiculous. So sites like this where you can just go ahead and play the track right from there is pretty sweet. Uh, now, if you do sign up, though, I think you get, yeah, 34,000 tracks and 64,000 sound effects. Again, with the sound effects. I mean, they're sound effects, guys. I can make them with my, my mouth here. That's the fisting a jar of mayonnaise sound effect. I'm going to charge you guys for that one. All right, so you've probably heard of Owned or Own 3 d over here. They've been making cell phone themes and graphics, like wallpapers and stuff, for uh, all, over a decade. Well over a decade. But they now do... Oh, they do Twitch overlays and stream designs as well. Nice. Actually, I did know that because I've used one of their overlays before. Music, which is really, really awesome. But the only thing that is not awesome about this is you have to link this through Spotify or stream it through Apple Music or a YouTube Music account. So either way, no matter which one of these three platforms you're on, you have to sign up for an account. Like I said, you're getting notification emails from that. Your name is out there in another database. Uh, it's just another, it's just another account to have for just needing some music for your stream. So that's kind of frustrating. And you know, they only have 200 tracks, which isn't crazy compared to like 30,000 or something, but um, and they're all lo-fi and synthwave, which is kind of the go-to niche for background music because it's not really disorienting. It doesn't take away from your stream. It's just something to add a little ambiance flavor in the background because nothing's more awkward than you come into a stream, especially when you have like four or five viewers, right? And you come into a stream and it's dead quiet. You know, either the streamer is not talking because, well, they have four or five people watching. They're not really interacting with their chat, which you should be. Even if you have one viewer or zero viewers, you should still be talking and commentating. But you come in here and you're gone immediately because you get in there and you hear the kid breathing on the mic, you know, oh, God. which is weird. And then it's just dead silent in there. It's like walking into a room and everyone stares over at you. You walk into the cafeteria and everyone stops talking and looks over. It's like, are they talking shit about me or what? Are we going to throw down or what? Yeah, it's just weird. But if you have a little bit of music playing at about 15% volume or something, it's not that awkward. In, in those those silent moments in between conversation and commentary, there's still music there. So that helps a lot. Um, and lo-fi and synthwave is not really distracting, but it will fill up the dead air a little bit, which is good. Uh, Pokemon is the queen of dead air. If you want to watch somebody go completely radio silent for 5, 10, 30 minutes at a time, Pokemon is the master. All right, the last one is a paid service, but it is wrapped into another service that I do actually recommend if you are going to be streaming, and that is Streamlabs Prime. So if you have Streamlabs OBS, you can get you know, slobs prime or whatever, which gives you a whole bunch of like overlays and animated alerts and chat boxes and stuff like that. But they also have a plugin or application within there, within that service called jingle punks, which is basically their, which is basically their music player that has a hundred thousand songs across multiple genres. They're all copyright free because they're specifically for using on your stream and because it's integrated into Streamlabs OBS, which by the way is what I'm using to record this video right now, obviously. Uh, because it's integrated into Streamlabs OBS, it can work as a little plugin 
in the bottom right hand corner of your screen to where you can have what's playing right now so you don't have to answer your chat you know what's playing whatever um it'll just constantly whenever the new track comes on it'll say now playing blah 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 which is super cool you know just to have that little multimedia in the corner there and you can also set it up in here to in your uh, audio mixer to where your viewership can hear the audio the songs at whatever volume you want but you can hear it at a different volume or completely muted which is great because when i'm playing games i don't want some lo-fi you know <laughs> dubstep when i'm trying to listen to footsteps in a game or listen to my buddies chatting in discord um so the fact that i can have that turn very down uh very low or off completely and then still have my viewers listening to do some, you know, some tasteful background music at about 15, 20% volume. That's awesome. And you can also fine tune it in here because you want your voice and your game audio and maybe your buddies chatting in discord to be the highlight, to be the focus of your stream. You don't want the music to be the focus of your stream. You want that to be a background, like almost like you can barely hear it, but it takes away from that dead silence. You know, it, there's a little bit of ambient music playing. So that's great. Let's put you back there on the top monitor there, big dog. All right, sweet, sweet. There are more. If you just Google copyright free music or Twitch streaming music or whatever, you're going to find more websites. But a lot of those, like I said, you have to sign up. I tried to include ones that you can literally just play directly from their dashboard without having to sign up. Or even if you do have to sign up, they're not paid because paying for this music kind of sucks. You know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of cheap. I like to finagle and not pirate, but I like to, mm, uh, what's the word? Uh, I like to ride the gray area when it comes to getting my multimedia, you know, whether that's game software, etc. cetera. Um, you know, if it, I obviously want to support the developers and whatnot, but a lot of times the content's not really worth paying my hard earned money for. And I feel like copyright free music is kind of one of those things. So these are all free besides the ones that I specifically mentioned you have to pay for. And hopefully this was beneficial for you guys. If it was, I'm going to full screen my face so you can see my ugly mug. Uh, if this was beneficial for you guys, please shove a thumb right where the sun don't shine. That helps this video to get seen by more people so this information can help more influencers out there. And also, go ahead and tallywhack that subscribe button and give a Dutch rudder to that notification bell as well so you're notified when new videos like these YouTube tutorials come online. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. See, that was one of those sound effects you got to pay for. It's called the double kiss.